Hi everyone. As Diwali is round the corner, you all must be very excited and so I am. As this festive season creates an aura and environment of happiness and joyfulness, but one should always not forget about our dream, about our goal, that is to crack the examination. So here I am today, your mentor for finance current affairs, Gulapsa, and today we will talk about three important terms in the history of financial sector. That is the financial system, that is the quantitative easing, Fed tapering and taper tantrums. Apart from that, we'll also try and understand what are their impacts on the Indian economy. So let's get started without any delay and let's start with the first that is quantitative easing. So if we talk about quantitative easing, it refers to the easy monetary policy. What is the easy monetary policy? It is the policy, it is the period, it is the outcome whereby the government, the central bank of a country tries to purchase bonds from the market, thereby injecting liquidity into the market. The bonds purchase karte hai central bank and in return they try to inject or infuse the economy with liquidity. What is the idea? The idea is to slow the process of recession or to boost the economy, right? So let's understand quantitative easing, fat tapering and taper tantrums through a very real case study that is the global financial crisis of 2008-9. I know and I hope that you all must have heard about the global financial crisis of 2008-9, right? So this crisis was an eye-opener for the entire world and specifically the most affected country was the US but its repercussions were faced by almost all the countries around the world including India as well. So what happened? Due to the devastations created by the global financial crisis, the global economy was affected very badly, right? And in order to boost the economy, what did the Fed Reserve do? The Central Bank of uh, US, the Central Bank of US, that is the Fed Reserve, adopted the policy of quantitative easing. As I have described to you, what is quantitative easing? It is easy monetary policy whereby the government, whereby the central bank of a nation or a country tries to purchase bonds, government-backed securities, GSEX from the market and thereby infuse liquidity or dollars in case of the US into the economy. Okay? So that it can support growth and take out such countries from recession. Okay? And the, because of this action taken by the US Fed Reserve in 2008-9, after 2008-9, the economy started to recover slowly. So economy recover karna shuru kar diya tha. And then in the year 2013-14 came the Fed tapering announcement by the Fed Reserve. Now you all must be thinking, agar economy ko hum recover karne ke liye quantitative easing laya tha, then why we talked about Fed tapering? Why was Fed tapering announced? So this was for the simple reason and you all must be know by now that because of easy monetary policy, there are a lots of problem associated. For example, agar aapko bohut easily paisa mil raha hai, if there is too much money flooding into the economy, that will cause inflation which we are facing right now. Inflation, inflationary situation face karne ko mil sakte hai. And in order to escape or to solve this problem, the Fed Reserve in 2013-14 announced the Fed tapering. What is Fed tapering? So it is an announcement made by the Fed Reserve that in future it is going to start with the reduction in the purchase of bonds. Kya matlab hua? The slow and gradual decline in the purchase of government securities by the central bank is known as Fed tapering. Agar suppose if the Fed, if the Federal Reserve was purchasing 100 billion worths of bonds per month, agar ye per month itna kharid raha tha, now with the announcement of Fed tapering, there will be a decline or a reduction in the purchases by the central government, central bank, the Fed Reserve. Suppose 50 say 80 billion kar diya next month, then 50 billion ho jayega, then 20 billion ho jayega. So the entire idea is to stop infusing liquidity into the market because problems such as inflation and imported cost has been increasing. Okay? Iske wajah se announcement was done. 
to taper. Taper is to reduce the bond purchases by the Central Bank of US, that is the Fed Reserve. I hope two terms are now clear to you. What is quantitative easing that I talked about? Easy monetary policy. Agar easy monetary policy hoga, that means the government, the rate of interest in that economy will be very lower. However, agar Fed tapering shuru kiya ja raha hai by the Federal Reserve, then that will result in increasing the interest rate. Two topics aapko clear ho gaye. Now let's move forward and talk about the third, that is tantrums. Now, taper tantrums kya hota hai? So, what is this taper tantrums? If we talk about taper tantrums, tantrums hum sab bhi karte hai. For example, agar aapke ghar pe tinde ki sabzi ban rahi hai, right? Or uh, bitter gourd, karele ki sabzi ban rahi hai. You show tantrums or you, you, you show tantrums to your parents, right? Kuch loon ko pasand hoga, keeping that aside. But what is tantrums in case of financial system. So here tantrums refers to the response made by the investors. Investors ka kya response tha? So because jab quantitative easing laya gaya tha, the rate of interest in the economy was very lower kyunki money easily available thi. So people had the chance, for the people in the US had the chance to take this money, the dollar and invest in such countries, in such emerging and growing countries where the rate of interest is high so that they can earn returns on such investment. And therefore, because of reducing interest in US, they were supplying or they were investing in countries like India. Hai? But now because of Fed tapering, because of Fed tapering, now money available in the market will go down. With that, the interest rate in the market will increase. And this will not be a very good situation for the investors because if it was a loan for 2% rate, pe mil raha tha koi, koi loan from, from the US market and he was investing in India for a return of 8%. But now, because of Fed tapering, interest rate in the economy will increase. And suppose this 2% increase increases to, let's say, how much? 4%. Let's say 4%. 4% ho gaya. Now the money available will be costlier to the US investor. And, and the return that he will be getting from the Indian economy, as of now, let's assume it to be 8%. So, pehle usko kitna interest rate differential mil rahi thi. what was the net return that he was earning the net return was six percent but because of fat tapering now he will just be earning four percent so this is the reason why the investors were showing tantrums and this is known as taper tantrums so due to quantitative easing there was easy liquidity for the investors money was available at a very cheap rate and now in future, because of the announcement of the Fed tapering, Fed will reduce the government security purchases, bond purchases Fed come kar degi, and that will increase the rate of interest. So what will be the outcome? Investors will start showing tantrums, right? So this is known as Fed tapering and the Fed tantrums. Ab dekho, what how it is going to affect India? Ab, since because of the announcement of the Fed tapering, US investors will start pulling out money from India. Because ab dekho, US economy is an economy whose currency is very strong. US dollar is very strong currency. So why do they go to other emerging countries to invest money? Why do they invest money from the US and take more money from For the simple reason that the rate of interest is more and they are going to earn huge, right? So they take the risk of investing in some other country. But if suppose the rate of interest increases in US, US mein hi rate of interest increase ho jati hai. So why would you go to an emerging country? Jahan pe you face problems such as appreciation, depreciation of the currency and much more and instability of that country. So people will start taking out or pulling out money from India and they will start investing in the US bonds. US may invest karna shuru kar denge because first it is stable, second they are now getting a higher rate of interest. So how it is going to affect India? So since people start pulling out money from India, there will be huge dollar outflows from India. 
तो बहुत सारे डॉलर्स आउटफ्लो किए जाएंगे दैट मीन्स दैट पीपल विल बी डिमांडिंग डॉलर देर विल बी एन इंक्रीज इन डिमांड फॉर डॉलर एंड दैट इम्प्लाइज दैट इन ऑर्डर टू सस्टेन और मीट दिस डिमांड फॉर डॉलर देर विल बी एन इंक्रीज सप्लाई ऑफ रूपी Now this increasing supply of rupee will result in depreciation of the rupee. So how it is going to affect India? There will be huge dollar outflows, which will result in rupee depreciation. And because of rupee depreciation, our imports will be very costly. Because almost we import a lot, we are an import-led economy. So our imports will be that is going to be very costly. And because of this. costly imports we are going to face the problem of higher inflation ab inflation kaise high ho jayega because of uh, costly imports for the simple reason that for example basic materials for raw materials such as crude oil as you all know 85% of our energy requirement is imported and this energy requirement is used in each and every process of production production mein use hoti hai right so any goods and services you produce you need energy and this energy cost has been increased because of costly imports now the increased cost or the increased prices will be reflected in the prices of goods and services your goods and services will also become costly and that will result in inflation so increase in prices increase in the general level of prices of goods and services mahangai koi product agar 10 rupees ki mil rahi thi agar wo 15 ki mil rahi hai then that is known as inflation and therefore your domestic economy the indian economy will be facing the problem of higher inflation theek hai now imports aapke costly ho gaye that means your export import ki equation kya hogi imports aapke aur zyada honge यूजुअली हमारा करंट अकाउंट डेफिशिट अराउंड 1.5 टू 3% रहता है ना दिस विल फर्दर एग्रावेट बिकॉज ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग इंपोर्ट्स कॉस्ट एंड देयरफॉर वी विल बी फेसिंग हायर करंट अकाउंट डेफिशिट एंड इन ऑर्डर टू मेक पेमेंट फॉर दैट वी विल बी ड्रॉइंग डाउन ऑन आवर रिजर्व्स देयरफॉर आवर फॉरेक्स रिजर्व इज आल्सो गोइंग टू डिक्रीज आई होप द इंपैक्ट ऑन द इंडियन इकॉनमी इज क्लियर टू यू राइट now the similar situation happened so the similar situation happened in uh india and similar situation happened in the year 2019 as well when covid 19 pandemic occurred the covid 19 aaya tha to economy ko boost karne ke liye what did the government do the fed reserve again adopted quantitative easing quantitative easing laya easy money provide kiya so that people could spend and so that the economy could recover and in 2021 the fed tape the fed announced fed tapering 2021 mein fed tapering announce ki gayi thi so that jo excess liquidity hai market se usko kam kar diya jaye so similar parallels you can do you can draw for the covid 19 period right for your understanding now let's move forward and now understand the impacts impact samajhne ki koshish karte hain do cheezon ki first is the quantitative easing and second the tantrums shown because of fed tapering quantitative easing first and foremost impact on the us economy what is what is what is the impact on the us economy so in case of quantitative easing the fed will be purchasing more of the bonds from the market if i talk about when during the covid 19 pandemic the fed was purchasing bonds at the rate of 100 around 100 billion dollars million dollars bonds per month per month 100 billion dollars estimated bonds purchase kar rahi thi hamara us uh, fed reserve ठीक है, सो बाय परचेजिंग लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ बॉन्ड्स फ्रॉम द मार्केट व्हाट इज द फेड ट्राइंग टू डू इट इज ट्राइंग टू इंजेक्ट लिक्विडिटी बाय इंफ्यूजिंग डॉलर इनटू द मार्केट सो देयर विल बी मोर इंजेक्शन और मोर infusion of liquidity into the market and because of easy money that is available banks kya karenge or what will the fed reserve do the rate of interest in the economy will go down the now money will be available at a very cheaper rate so this is the impact on the us economy interest rate agar kam hogi people will be taking more of loans for making investments and therefore the, this will increase or boost the economic recovery or the economic growth of the us now what is the impact of bond, on bond market in india bond market mein kya impact hoga 
अब यूएस इन्वेस्टर्स आर गोइंग टू गेट मनी एट अ वेरी चीपर रेट दे आर सब फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट सपोज दैट दे आर इन्वेस्टिंग इन गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज सो दे विल स्टार्ट इन्वेस्टिंग इन गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज देर फॉर दिस विल रिजल्ट इन इंक्रीजिंग इन डिमांड फॉर द गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज and because of increasing demand for the government securities the bond prices will also increase and as we all know there is uh, an inverse relation between the price of a bond and the yield the yields on the bond the bond yields will go down therefore that means that the government of india the government of india will be getting loans at a lower rate inko bahut kam matlab they they have to pay a lower interest to the bond holders क्योंकि मास परचेज ऑफ गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज इज बिंग डन बाय द इन्वेस्टर्स नाउ व्हाट इज गोइंग टू बी द मीडियम टर्म इंपैक्ट ऑन द इंडियन इकोनॉमी ये तो ठीक है बॉन्ड मार्केट एक सेगमेंट में देख ले ओवरऑल व्हाट इज गोइंग टू बी द इंपैक्ट एज वी ऑल नो इफ द यूएस इन्वेस्टर्स आर इन्वेस्टिंग इन इंडिया दे आर ब्रिंगिंग डॉलर्स इन इंडिया सो देर विल बी हायर इन ऑफ डॉलर्स इन द इकोनॉमी दैट विल रिजल्ट इन रुपी एप्रिसिएशन आपकी रुपी एप्रिशिएट करेगी and this dollars will add up to your forex reserves aapka forex reserves bhi increase hoga and your imports are also going to be cheaper because of rupee appreciation agar rupee appreciate karega then your uh, imports are going to be cheaper how for example 1 dollar equal to rupees 10 hai and suppose 100 rupees ka aapko kuch khareedna hai you can purchase only 10 items but if suppose rupee has appreciated and 1 dollar is equal to rupees 5 and you have rupees 100 then with that you can now purchase 20 items 100 divided by 5 theek hai so aapke jo imports honge that is going to be cheaper and because of that inflation in the economy will reduce because of cheaper imports so this is the impact of quantitative easing on to the indian economy now let's talk about fed tapering fed tapering and fed tantrum so fed tapering mein kya hoga announcement that in future the fed reserve is going to reduce the purchase of bonds and government backed securities from the market so there is going to be a slow and gradual decline in the purchase of bonds now this will ultimately result in a in an increase in the interest rates in future so in future jaise jaise the fed reserve will start reducing the purchase of bonds the rate of interest into the economy will be increasing so in future rate of interest will increase because money injection into the economy goes down money will now not be available so easily and freely and that's the reason why the rates of interest in the economy will increase so what will be the impact on bond market in us us ke bond market mein kya impact hoga since the fed reserve is reducing its demand for the bonds the demand there will be a lower demand for bonds and if there is lower demand for bonds the prices of the bonds will also go down and because of the inverse relation between the yields and the price the bond yields will increase on such bonds kyunki demand nahi hai it is the yield only that will attract people right to purchase such bonds now what is going to be the impact on the indian economy this we have already talked about ab kya impact hoga big tank paper tantrums will be shown by the investors and investor will start selling government securities that they have taken and thereby demanding dollar and because of they will demand dollar and it will result in supply of more rupees resulting in rupee depreciation there will be higher dollar outflows because they will be selling off their investments in indian economy and taking out their money aur agar hum bond market ki baat kare india ki so since there will be more sale of government securities the prices will go down and yields again is going to increase into the indian economy and same the story follows because of rupee depreciation aapke imports costly honge that will result in higher inflation and because of higher import cost aapka current account deficit zyada hoga and in order to finance this your forex reserves will go down now one important one important impact will be of the increasing yield to pehle because there was so much demand for the government securities government was able to get them at a lower prices the prices कम पे उनको मिल रही थी राइट गवर्नमेंट विल बी वॉज एबल टू गेट 
those government securities at a lower yield. Lower yield ka matlab kya hua? They had to pay lower interest or lower uh, charge for taking that money from such investors. But now because of increasing yield, the borrowing cost for the government will increase. So this is all that I wanted to discuss with you. I hope aapko clear hua hoga. The definition of quantitative easing and rest other things that is Fed tapering as well as uh, paper tantrums, all of these definitions has been put forward in this PDF for your understanding, for you to have a formal definition. And now comes the question for you. So we have two questions for you based on whatever we have discussed. The first says, which of the following statements correctly explains paper tantrum? So you have five options. You need to identify the correct one. Whatever we have studied, you need to just put your mind and answer it theek hai? and this will help me also to know that yes you have understood whatever has been taught to you the next question is which of the following is the likely impact on india due to fed tapering to fed tapering ke wajah se india pe kya kya impact hongi this we have studied in detail and i'm sure you will be able to answer it very swiftly answers are also provided in the pdf in case of any doubt you can write it down in the comment section and keep enjoying, enjoy the festive season and take out little time for yourself to spend with your family and also to study for the exam. Take care and bye-bye.